Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Well, this is the first day that I've been able to get out and scout around for some rock chucks. So I've seen a few, they're kind of scurrying around. It's been a long winter. They're not out completely yet, but uh, if I get a chance to get some shots on it, we'll go ahead and get it done for you. I've got my 20 inch 6.5 Grendel shooting 100 grain bullet. Uh, it might be a little bit too much for them, but you know what? Dead is dead. So hang on folks, if I can get that camera you're looking at me on and a rock chuck to sit around long enough to get focused on, you'll see some shots. So I'll see you in a minute. Hang on. Let's get a good look at this terrain I'm hunting today. You can see it's pretty mountainous and got a lot of rocks and just kind of sitting around enjoying the day. It's about 45 degrees. It's first uh, first warm weather we've had. I think you can see my old 500 yard gong right there. Don't know. I mean, there you go. Oh, it's uh, it's still wintered pretty well. But, you know, there's still some snow up on the mountains, up high. I don't know if you can see it or not up there. But, there's some elk out and a few other critters. Not a lot of rock chucks. You can see one that's sitting in that pipe right there that's just kind of waiting for me saying, shoot me, shoot me. You see him right there, see his little head right next to that pipe right there but I'm not gonna shoot my rancher friends expensive pipe that's for darn sure uh, if I was more confident in my aim maybe so but not today okay and you can see it was kind of a bumper crop for him as far as cattle are concerned this year quite a few Head, lots of calves. Does my heart good to see a calf crop like that. All right, well, we're still waiting for them to pop their heads out to where I can get a shootable shot. So hang on. Ah, sometimes it's best to know when not to take a shot. That would have to be a head shot, about 125 yards. I'm just on a tripod. But uh, if I could clear that pipe and be confident in my shot, I'd do it. All right, there he is sitting on top of that rock. This would be the longest shot I've ever taken. That's every bit of five, six hundred yards on a rock chuck. I don't know if the Grendel is up to it, but uh, I'll try to figure my hold over and give it a shot. Hang on. Anybody see where I shot? I guess I'll see it on video. I think I shot over him. So I'll uh, lower it a little bit, see what happens. Oh well. <laughs> Let's see if he comes back out. Well, I thought I had the video camera on, but there he is, dead. I'd gauge him somewhere about 190, maybe closer to 200 yards. You'll see. another one running right by that fence line there you can see it now it's up on that rock let me see if I can plant him He's an ambitious little bugger 
moving. Yeah, I hope you saw that. I don't really know. He's right there. Okay. Well, he moved out of frame maybe. I don't know until I see the editing. But uh, we'll hold on for some more. Okay, I hope you see him right there if he'll stay long enough. That's about 280 yards. Oh, moving off. Yeah, now he's behind that rock. Clean this. But he'll be back. He just went into a little hole right there. He'll come back out. All right. I told you he'd be back out. Now, again, I'm just guesstimating. If that's well over 550 yards, maybe even 600, but we'll see if the little Grendel can do it. I'll try a little different hold this time. See what happens. You know, uh, you can't get something if you don't shoot. So hang on. Well, he disappeared. Did you all see the shot? Well, here's the two that I shot. That I think you have on camera, but I'm not sure. I got to go over and check that one that I attempted a shot at 550 yards but I'm going to have to relocate and I'm going to leave these buggers here for the buzzards to eat. So we'll see you in a minute. Well folks that'll do it for me today the first uh, rock chuck session of the year. Uh, they were pretty skittish didn't get many shots but the little Grendel you know it was a, a 50 percent uh, this is not a long-range rifle, at least for me, for those of you that do shoot at long range. Good for you, but uh, I wanted to give it a shot. 20 inch, 100 grain bullets, should have gone lighter, maybe even should have brought out 22250 or 223 or even the 6 arc. But that's for future videos. So if you enjoyed this video, folks, give me a thumbs up. Come back next time. Leave a comment if you will. Subscribe. But see you next time. Goodbye.